everybody welcome back to my channel this is Kathy at Attic Treasures etc and I've been working on this little golden book junk journal in my last video I showed how to make the cover so that you don't lose this foil spine and then later on I started working inside and I, I did this little embellishment here and I had so much fun I thought well why don't I recreate another one and and do it online so what I have here is an envelope and it opens you know, it wraps around, I guess I should say, to the other side, which I'll attach here, and then I'll have a, a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here, or use it as kind of a belly band. But I have a pocket on the front, like so, and I attached a little view master reel here. And then when you open it up, it closes with this string closure. And when you open it to the inside, there's a little notepad. So I thought that was just way too much fun and I really enjoyed coming up with it. So why not make one online or in a video? So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do a little bit more vintage-y ones. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna use um, Tim Holtz paper for this. So what I have here is, um, this started out as an eight by eight sheet of paper and I used my um, envelope punch board to make an envelope that ends up being I think four by six and a quarter or something like that let's see four by yep four by six and a quarter but it, it doesn't have to be this size this is just uh, the size I ended up with so the first thing I want to do is put a pocket on the front and I'm going to choose this paper this is from his I think it's called wallflowers um, stack and I wanted to use uh, the the pieces from you know the that has like the the different all, all the pages on one but in um, in these smaller sections and I wanted this bird one so I'm going to cut out these two rectangles together and I'm going to leave half an inch on both sides of the, um, the bottom half. So it's going to fold up underneath. So I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer. And first I'll cut this off here. I can set that aside for future projects. And then I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut these off, but I'm going to leave, you know, half an inch or so on either end or either side, I guess I should say. And then I'm also going to score along that line. And it's not, you know, 100% even on both sides, but that's okay. Just to make it easier to fold. So it's going to fold up like so and we're going to um, wrap this around the back. We're going to cut these pieces off. So I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and just go to right there to that uh, to that fold in the center Okay, so if I just fold it 
like this. You can see, let me do this a little bit, turn on this light. Okay, that's better. So if I just fold these sides down like that, that back piece wants to bow. So I'm going to shave off just a tiny little bit on each side with my X-Acto knife, uh, just from the bottom part of this tag, or uh, excuse me, pocket. Just a cat's whisker. Just enough so that it will lay a little bit flatter. There, oh, that's better. Okay, so see? Nice and flat. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to attach the the little view master roll that I have. And I don't know if you can see this, but I took the original, uh, I took it apart. See the original slides are still on the back. But I just wanted something different on the front. And I have all these little doll faces in there. Put a piece of acetate over it. And we'll make one of these in a future video. Um, but I have this little um, catalog of toys and games and dolls from the 1800s. And so I just kind of went through and picked out some little faces to put in there. And I just thought that was kind of fun. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to attach it here with a brad. So I'm just going to take my hole puncher kind of get this centered sort of where I want it and I'm just gonna punch a little oh, doesn't go all the way okay we'll just mark it with a pencil and punch a little 1 8 inch hole right there I'm gonna attach see I want it to be like that so we're gonna attach the brad on this side to hold it in place because I want it to spin and I think my my little Tim Holtz brads are too too little so I'm just going to use this one Okay, so now when I close it, that spins really nicely. And then I can glue these down. And this is why you have a back on it, so that brad can be there and not interfere with anything. So that won't interfere with anything going in or out of the pocket. I call them viewfinders. They're actually view master uh, reels. I don't know if you remember those from when you were a kid, but I came across several of them at a at a local thrift store. So I thought it would be fun to use them in different ways in my junk journals. Okay, now I'm going to take my envelope and. Let's see which way do I want to probably this way yeah okay and I'm gonna attach this pocket right on the front of the envelope and you don't want to get glue where the where the reel is because you want it to spin and just try to you know make hold that down a little bit because it's not totally flat of course I wish I had a, a flatter brad but I don't it's long enough to get it to really stick and still allow the disc to spin and it'll stick in enough places to where you know it'll it'll stay put so you don't need to worry too much about that then on the inside I want to put a notepad so I'm going to use some more of this Tim Holtz paper okay so I want to use this section here For another project. That looks like a good width. And I'm 
just going to score it just to make it easier to fold. And I do like to round the corners. So I'm going to do put a half inch radius with my corner chomper. And put the paper trimmer away because I think I'm done with it or let's see I don't know if the paper trimmer will do a good job on this vintage notebook that I have that we'll try I like the feel of this paper it's um, kind of it's kind of waxy almost So I'm, I'm just hoping it won't tear the paper because sometimes these papers get really fragile. Oh, that, that worked out actually pretty well. So I'm going to fold them individually. A different heights or different um, lengths I guess I should say <laughs> so that they kind of cascade happy with that. I'm going to grab my tiny attacher and put a couple of staples in. And then how about some pretty washi tape on top. See that has kind of a green there. Let's see. Oh, there's one that's pretty not that it has to be matchy matchy but I like the way it looks when the colors sort of coordinate So this is a really quick little project, especially if you sort of know what you're doing. <laughs> I usually have to um, go through a whole long thought process before I really think I know what I'm doing. But once you do, once you kind of have it in mind, then you can make several at once. And these are nice little standalone um, I don't know little standalone things or uh, like what I'm doing is to wrap it around a page in my journal okay now we need some sort of a little band to go across here and oh look there's one and that's the perfect width so let's see I'll ink this up and then glue it down and that'll fit right in there And then I want to put uh, the little closure buttons on here. So what I have uh, to work with that is I have these little letter circles that I've had from my scrapbooking days and you know I'm not really excited about the um, the pattern on it. So I'm going to take my punch and punch out a few little I see I don't want to do that there. I'll do it here. Punch out a couple of circles. 
circles. Just to glue on there. So how's the weather where you guys are today? Today being Saturday. Um, it is sort of snowing off and on. I, it's not like it's real snow. It's been really wet. But you know what they say? Have you ever heard the saying, big snow, little snow, little snow, big snow? Well, little snow being um, tiny flakes as opposed to big flakes. So when you have big flakes, it's because it's super wet snow and it doesn't really stick. All right, a little bit of inking around the edges. I always like our ink. Pull out the big guns. All right, I have that set for a 1 8 inch hole. And I'm just going to punch it. Oh, that worked out really well. And it's fairly centered. That's good. And this is one of the best investments in my craft room I've ever made. I've had that one forever. Okay, so now I just want to place these where I want them to be. And I'm just kind of, come back here. I'm just kind of lining it up so that the edges of the circle, can you see that? The edges of the circle are sort of on the edge of the envelope flap there. Same thing over here. Okay, little hole here, little hole here. And another little brad. Kind of like these little pink ones. Okay, so now we just put the envelope or the uh, little notepad in here. Go like this. You can decorate it more if you want. Close it here. Now I'm just going to put some string. Okay, so I have some string. And it's just some gold um, baker's twine. It's going to go underneath the, uh, the disc here and then tie it off. Then we're just gonna tie it like so. Not the end. And then I wanna decorate this a little bit. And I have this little Tim Holtz gal and a butterfly. Oh, I love these little butterflies, especially when they're behind these little see I could have her like flying off like that but I think I'll just have her sort of standing there and we should probably ink up her edges and I'm going to cut the little antennas off because I just don't think they really add anything okay actually I'm going to glue the butterfly to the little girl first so that I don't um, take a chance of placing it wrong <laughs> on the page and then her not being able to fit. So we'll do that first. And then we can put the rest of her on. So anyway, supposedly we're gonna get a lot of snow tonight, but we'll see. Okay, I love this. 
and then the last thing is to add a tag and I made these tags um, I made the tag bases actually in a previous video so I'll link that below or at the end rather and there there we have it just a super easy little embellishment and what you can do is like I said just wrap it around like this so that this flap of the envelope is on this side and you can either just leave it as a flap like a little hidden spot or you can put a brad here or glue it or you know put a stamp and then leave these open to put things you know uh, tags or whatever through so um, I just think this is so much fun this is you know maybe not the flattest embellishment in the world but you know our journals get so chunky anyway might as well chunk them up with something fun so and then the the little uh, dolls spin around can you see that so how fun is that all right everybody I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up again it was just a super quick little project and to really fun to do you don't have to um, make your own envelopes if you already have envelopes in your stash you know obviously you can use those too but it's a good way to use up some extra scrapbook paper as well so happy crafting everybody please consider subscribing if you haven't already and let the serendipity find you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye everybody. Have a wonderful day.